us. We won't take the long ship today. This trip is for us. Just you and me. Is that a problem? Not at all. So long as I get some air and sun, I will be fine. I spend too much of my day in the longhouse. We'll need to cross the river at some point if we want to enter Grandopetshire. If you know a better way, I would love to hear it. Is swimming not an option? Swimming? I don't know. Are you joking? A boat or a horse would always do, but I'm not opposed to the more traditional methods. Here we are. Welcome to Grandbridge. We should make our way to the longhouse. Ah, oh, it's bigger than I imagined. Rustic, woody, beautiful. And everything seems quite new. Under Soma's guidance, the Summer Army built this town up from a small village. They wanted a hub for trade near London, and a launching point for incursions into Wessex. Well, it is impressive. Some interesting architectural ideas here too. It's been quite a while since I've seen your face around here. I know you, I think. One of Soma's loyal men. Magni, is it? Yeah. Good memory. Good to see you again. This is Ranvi, a dear friend and a sturdy fighter. Well met, Ranvi. Evo seems to have a preference for befriending lovely women. You know, I noticed the same thing. I expected more people about Magni. Has something happened? Soma rounded up some warriors and took them west. She's hoping to open a new trade route with Ox and the Vod there. Only now, in times of trouble, I have discovered I am not the surrogate leader I should hope to be. What sort of trouble? Oh, a pack of surly bandits have encamped nearby. To the east of the water's edge. They attack all merchants who travel here by river or road, and word is spreading quickly. It's keeping traders at bay. That could cripple your town if it carries on too long. <laughs> it's crippled me already. The bastard stole my horse yesterday morning. So what will We you... can take care of them, Magni. And if we don't find your horse, we will steal you a new one. Well, that would ease my mind. I have nothing to offer you for this deed, but the bandit surely would. Take from them what you like. Good. Consider the matter handled. Eivor, come. We have a camp to raid. <laughs> the bandits are camped on the river, he said, east of the water's edge. You volunteered us for a fight, Ranvi. Is that your idea of a pleasant ride through the country? It must be. I surprised even myself. Away from your table for a day, and already you're lusting for blood. A feeling you must know well, no? 
I have always wanted to experience the world as you do, and now I will. Unless you have a more interesting day planned for us. We will help Magni and clear these bandits, but do not be rash when we find them. The Raven Clan needs your steady hand. Yes, indeed, my lord. I shall follow your order to the letter. If I did not know any better, I would say you're teasing me. Oh, certainly not, Eivor Wolf kissed Iron Fisted Drenger. I would never tease one with such commanding authority. There. The bandit camp. All right. Stay close and do as I do. Rude and look sternly at the horizon? By all means. That's done. Now to deliver Magni his horse. That was a thrill, Eivor. We are champions of Grand Bridge. Do you know of any other towns that need liberating? You don't think we have had enough drama for one day? We should return to the settlement. Or we could have a drink, to celebrate our victory. At home, Tekla has all the mead and ale we could want. You drive like a At home, Tekla has all the mead and ale we could want. Eivor. Our outing has hardly begun. Find us an alehouse and let us make ourselves at home. Let's return the horse, and if your thirst remains, we'll look around. Magni, we solved your bandit problem. Did you? Well done! And did you find my sweet mare? Your horse is outside waiting for you. Thank the court she is safe. And thank you, Eivor. And your friend Randy, wherever she is. She is here somewhere. Eivor! Over here! Look at this! Ah -ho! Someone is thirsty! What are you playing at? A drinking contest. You versus me. Wolfkist versus Table Maiden. Ranvi, we can do better than Table Maiden. Mead Queen, then. All right, let us drink. Beautiful. Focus! 
a good shot, they won't, but Rutley's done you better. Eivor is a beast, but you have my fealty, Rutley. Anymore and I'll drown. Ha! I am the Mead Queen, slayer of wolves and barrels. I told you I would drink you under the table. So, are you satisfied? My head is ringing like a bell. More than satisfied. Now come, we'll ride this off and take in the air as we head home. After just one more stop. Ugh, Ranvi. It's a sunken tower near a waterfall, close to home. We can stop for a look, and then you are free of me. It's near the highest point of a hill, just south of the settlement. Easy to spot, I'm sure. All right, one last stop then. I know it might not show, Eivor, but I am terribly excited. Oh, it shows. Leaving already? Well, I do hope to see you again. Randy, return any time. I might have to, Magni. Thank you, for everything. No, no, thank you. Safe travels. I think you may have punctured poor Magni's heart back there. What can I say? Not the first, and it will not be the last. I name you Ranvi, slayer of bandits, breaker of hearts. I will sound it with pride. Suniva described this tower for me. A desolate yet peaceful place. I am eager to see it. After a full day of action, finally you wish to calm down. I've had my fill of adventure. Time for a little rest. I was wondering something. You and Sonya, was there something more to your bond? You spoke of her with a particular shine in your eyes. We grew very close very quickly. Is that what you mean? No, I mean, did something happen between you two? What sort of question is that? An innocent one. Innocent as a newborn babe. Nothing happened between us. That is my answer. <clears throat> I find that disappointing. If I were you, I might have tested the waters. Eivor, entangled by a hardy Jarlskona as she leads her army to victory and prosperity. A rather appealing match. I'm going to pretend your last words were taken by the wind, Ranvi. If you must. <laughs> Look there. That must be the tower. Take the bridge. Just as beautiful as Suniva's stories tell. Can you imagine how it looked when it was first built, hundreds of winters ago? Sometimes when looking at a map, I imagine little people in their little armies, traversing the land. And now, staring at these ruins, I imagine people of old, how they lived, never knowing what would become of their monuments. You have a fertile imagination. I want a view from the top. Shall we? Lead on. Mind where you put your fingers. These stones are old and weathered. <gasps> you climb well for one who falls maps. You jest, but I have raised the frames of longhouses and hammered the ribs of longships. My hands are calloused from hard work. Well, 
well, well. Look at this. A stunning view. It reminds me of my early years in Norway. How I used to climb the hills beyond the wood. You have an adventurous heart. I hardly see it behind the table, but now I've watched you scale a tower in furs, soaking wet. I was rowdy in my youth. Hunting. Sailing. I was a wildling of the open air, before I became this staunch and stoic woman. Married off in service of peace between two clans. A noble and worthy role, but not one I had ever imagined for myself. You would have made a fine wandering warrior. A Jomsvikinger. Free to come and go as she pleased. I think so too. It may be we would have sailed together, over the open seas, raiding or traveling. Or faced each other on the field of battle. Without your marriage to Sigurd, to secure peace, our clans might still be at war. True. Very true. Thank you for today. Every bit of it has been a dream and... and I'm not keen to wake. Then don't. We can stay here as long as you like. Yes. What was that? Oh, no, I am... I'm sorry. I sh shouldn't have. I got away from myself. No need to apologize. Sigurd is your brother, and I... I have put you in a very difficult position. The heart does not do politics like the head. It may be the meat. It may be the air. But there is no need to apologize. <laughs> I am sober enough. But the truth of it is... I have felt this way for some time now. I care for you, Eivor. That is... comforting to hear. I have long felt the same way. But I banished the thought that this would ever happen. Many times I wished to tell you. Wished to say what was in my heart and what I desired. But duty kept me from it. Say all you like. Today has meant so much. We rode, we fought, we drank, we laughed. You showed me your world. Not in words, but deeds. Deeds are more direct than words. Ranvi? Hmm. Must have returned to the settlement.
It's a good day for fishing. A moment. Pleasure to... Ranvi, you left so suddenly. There is work to be done. There always is. I see. But do not think for a moment that I have forgotten you and our wonderful day. Nor would I wish you to. Good. Then we see eye to eye. And heart to heart. Yes, indeed. Until our next moment alone, we should return to our great work. England will not pacify itself on our behalf. No, oh, indeed. Back to work, then. Come to me. I want to see the Alliance map. Those Dane invaders, they came from East Anglia, is that right? Yes. Dane invaders who serve a man called Ruid. He seems to be sowing discord among Saxons and friendly Danes alike. Years ago, the sons of Ragnar hoped to pacify the land. They appointed a steward named Finnir to find a suitable Saxon king. But the kingdom has fallen into ruins since, with no king and violent raiders ravaging what little peace remains. I suggest you make for East Anglia and find out what their steward is doing wrong. I'll make the trip east, then. Speak to this Finier myself. A good plan. Should we take this to your chamber? Hmm. No need. be one of us? A message has come.
I should speak with Hytham. to hide them. My battle kennings have worn thin. I am no longer the reed among shields, the glimmer blood, the hallowed skull crack. The scourge of swan roads. The iron throng. The lender of silver gouts. I only wish to be a freebooter. Someone who writes their own destiny. Be glad you head to Valhalla with a poem on your lips. Suffering hard times, I see. What's happening? Finir? Oh, no, not unless Hafton sent you. Whoever you are, I want to know why there's no king on East Anglia's throne. Because the man in question ain't been married yet. Once he is, East Anglia will have its king. And little else. Which man? Ugh. 
You know, stranger, you interrupted a beautiful dream. I was sailing through Helheim, drifting on a ship of fire. Dreams of death often run ahead of the real thing. Oh, <laughs> wouldn't that be a burden off my shoulders? What business have you with the backwater king, anyway? Danes from here attacked my clan. I want to know why and how to make sure it never happens again. Ah, that would be Ruid's clan. They killed the last man I put here, Adelstan. I suspect they'll do the same to our next monarch. A Dane who cannot keep the Danes in line? Not much of a steward, are you? If I knew how, I'd have rid our lands of them long ago. Ruid's clan plagues us all, Dane and Saxon alike. You are the sorriest soldier I've met in this country. Kick your king in the arse and fight back. He needs more than a kicking. He's got nothing he should have to win this fight. No courage, no army, no charisma. If he wants to live longer than a season, he'll need the backing of his bride's family, which he hasn't. They loathe the maggot. Who is he, your king maggot? Ah, uh, Oswald of Elmenham. He was King Edmund's council before the invasions. And like it or not, he's the last Saxon noble with any sway. Why not crown a Dane instead? Half done, Jarl, made it clear. He wants a Saxon king married to a Dane for a greater show of unity. But Oswald's not the sort of man you'd chase into battle with a grin. He's soft, and the settled Danes don't trust him. Where is he now? I'll get the measure of him, see what I can do. <sighs> you just missed him. He's headed for Elmenham just now, pleading once again for peace. If you go by the north gates and along the road, you may catch him. and burning as they went! It I built myself a home here. Ruid's clan attacked us as well. Oh! How nice to have a home to speak of, man! Mine was burnt to the ground years ago. And by home, I wonder. Please, all of you, be we Dana Saxon, we all want the same peace. With land to till and home to keep. Without fear of Ruid's violence. Till they break the peace with another bleeding raid. Nonsense. Their homes are here now. Same as ours, our futures run together, not apart. So what are these Danes attacking us, eh? What will you do about them? When I am king... <laughs> when I am your king, I'll set things right. You will be king when I am a flying troll. A king should be harsher in tone with those who disrupt his kingdom. I'm not yet king, so I'll listen to my people before deciding what tone to take. I am Eivor of the Raven Clan. Are you Oswald? I am. You're not here to kill me, are you? I am not in the habit of killing kings, but I do like meeting them. I am Oswald, yes. For as long as I can hold out. So what happened here, Oswald? A clan led by a Dane called Ruid attacked this morning. They've been sacking farms and amulets across East Anglia for some time now, growing more brazen by the day. Do they know this is Helfden's land? They must. They just don't care. Their chaos has touched my home as well, and I am here to see that it does not happen again. Lately, I've come to learn you are the hook that all hopes hang upon. As king, you could unite all Saxons and friendly Danes. A minor weight to bear. 
isn't it? Who else if not a king should bear it? Travel with me, Eivor. We can discuss my tenuous future on the road home. What begs your attention in Elmenham? Wedding preparations. Elmam is on guard as we ready my marriage to the Dane woman Valdis. She's a cousin of Hafton's. Good. A well-matched marriage can forge a strong alliance. <coughs> so what's the holdup? The holdup? I don't yet have permission to marry Valdis. Her brothers don't approve of me. Slow down. Something is not quite right here. Hold. There is smoke ahead. That's beatly. This area is off limits. That's beatly. It could be the same men who attacked at the walls of Norwich. Stay here. I'll have a look. That should be the last of these pig-faced cowards. Oswald will be relieved to know of this. Ruiz clan. They left none alive. God rest their souls. I'm needed at home to make yet another fruitless attempt to impress my betrothed family. Show more grit than you're showing me now and they may start to like you. Yes, sorry, I'm just shaken. If you joined us at dinner, that might ease their minds a touch. Think about it. My doors are open to you. It takes more than a feast to impress a Dane. If you want to marry into this family, you must become one as well. I'd be a troll's groom if it helped the people of this kingdom. Only tell me how. I'll see what I can do. Wonderful. Visit us in Elmham whenever you have time. It's worse here than I feared. <laughs> 